Hi, this is Greg from Agent Evolutions, and we're going to take a quick look today about a cool new app from uh, from Adobe called Adobe Slate. I'm just going to go on my iPad here, and I'm going to launch Adobe Slate. This is an iPad app. At the moment, it's just for iPad, but there's also a web version of this as well. So if you don't have an iPad, you can actually create uh, on the Slate website. And I'll show you that in a second. So what what does Slate do? Slate actually allows you to really easily create really simple websites. And as a real estate agent, um, I've used this a few times just for, maybe if I've got an out of town buyer or something like that, and I've got a bunch of houses that I've looked at and previewed for them, rather than just send them a whole whack of photos, I, it's, it's easy enough that I can create a website really, really quickly that it looks a lot nicer, positions me as a technology expert. Hey, I created a website for you of all the, the properties that I previewed for you today. And here you go. Here, you can share it with people and everything else. So let me just sort of show you under um, projects here. I'm just going to show you this one that I created for some new listings that I had recently. And uh, so this is a simple Springs Houses new listings. I'm going to have an opportunity to put a little bit of text in. And then uh, it will automatically lay out those photos for me. Um, I can put hyperlinks in there, click for info on this property. Then we've got, you know, uh, another listing here, click for info on that listing, etc. So really, really simple, easy to do that. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through the process of that. So I'm just going to go back here to explore, and then I'm just going to tap create a new story. So what do I want to call this? So I'm just going to tap, and I'm going to say, um, Home preview, and then I'll do the address of one, two, three, four Main Street, or whatever it is. Whatever kind of information you want to put in there. Okay, so I'm done with that. If I want to add a photo to this, okay, so I can just have this as a solid color, but I'm going to actually use a photo. So this has an opportunity here for you to, if you've got photos on your iPad, chances are you're probably going to go and take your photos on your iPad when you're doing that property preview, so they'll probably already be there. I can take pictures and add them in here. I can use, uh, if I'm a member of Adobe's Creative Cloud, I can do that. Uh, I've got things on Dropbox or Google Photos. I'm actually going to use Lightroom because I've got a bunch of photos in Lightroom already. So I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to use this as my... Uh, main photo. This takes a while for it to load there. So now at the bottom it says just scroll to start writing your story. So I'm just going to scroll up. So now I have the opportunity here now to add different things. So do I do want to add a f another photo? Do I want to add some text? Do I want to add a link? Maybe some video? A photo grid would be different from a photo in that it's a, a, a grouping of multiple photos. So for the moment I'm just going to put in text. Um, here's the great home that I talked about. Let me know if you have any questions. Let's start with the kitchen. Why don't we say that? Okay, so then I'm going to add another item right below that. I want to add a photo. So now I'm going to have to scroll through here and look at photos of the kitchen. So I'm going to do that one. So there's a nice sort of preview of what the, the kitchen is like. And I can add, a, add a, uh, a caption to that photo if I want. I can say hardwood floors walks out to deck. Okay, so then I can come down, add another item. So if I want to uh, put some more text in, I can do that. If I want to add a video, if I wanted to add, uh, I can just put some text and we'll just say uh, miscellaneous photos of the rest of the house. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to add another item down here and call it a photo grid. And I'm just going to come through here and just add a bunch of other photos. And honestly, I'm, I'm I'm not giving too much thought about it right now, but I'm just going to do a bunch of photos of this listing, which incidentally went under contract in less than 24 hours, which was awesome. 
So you see sort of at, by, based on the number of photos that I'm, um, that I'm selecting, it is sort of grouping them appropriately. So what I can do though, is I can say, you know what, this is the one that I want to actually have bigger. So I'm just gonna tap that, make that a large photo. So then it's gonna adjust my layout of that photo grid a little bit more. So uh, let's do this one here. I can make that a big one too if I want. It's gonna adjust that. And if I if there's any of these photos that I, once I get in here and say, oh, you know what, I don't really want those ones. So I can just click it, I can just tap the, the um, trash can and it'll get rid of it. So there's a photo grid, okay? When I'm done with that, I'm just gonna click done. So now you can see here I've got my website is starting to take shape, okay? So if I wanted to add a link, maybe to the um, the property website, on, you know, so the full property details on my website, I can put in, click here for full listing details. And then I can put in the URL that I want. I can tell it was if I want it to be left justified, center justified, or right justified for this little button. And uh, I'll just put my website in there. Dot agent evolutions dot com. Once I'm done with that, I click done. There's our button. It will take us right to that website. So you can add as much of this as you want. It's just a single page website. Okay, uh, just nice flat, but it, it, you know, you see how quick and easy it is for me to, to, to create this website that I can send to clients. If I'm, once I'm happy with this and I've added all the different things in there, I can tap this um, in the upper right hand corner, the uh, save button. So I'm gonna share this story. I'm gonna call it public. If it's not public, um, only you, know, you have to have you know, the, uh, the link to give to people. It will give you the link, but it won't be publicly available. So you can create these websites that get stored on Adobe servers and anybody in the world can see them if you want. So it's gonna call this home preview. It's gonna take that title that I gave it at the very beginning there. And uh, I'm gonna say, how do I wanna share it? I can share it on Facebook, Twitter, via email, um, via message. And then, but in this particular case, I want to copy it to my clipboard which is the little thing that's highlighted there. But if I can, I can just select whichever ones I want by email, message, or clipboard. So if I just hit continue, it's gonna sort of compile all this, uh, this data into a website, into the proper HTML for, for this particular website. And it's gonna say, hey, your website has been um, uploaded to this particular URL. And then you can go to that URL. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Just going to go into Safari here, and I'm just going to paste that URL that it copied for me, and hit go. So here's my website, Home Preview, Main Street, Friday morning. Here's the great home I talked about. Hey, look at the kitchen. Here's some photos of the rest of the house. If you want more information? Click here for full listing details, and you'll remember that I gave it our Agent Evolutions website, so it's going to take us to that website. Whichever URL you put in, it will take you to. Okay, That's it. Adobe Slate. It's great. The other thing that I will show you, if you don't have an iPad, fear not. So what Adobe Slate actually has is a website where you can create, and you'll notice that this project that I just created called Home Preview, if I just click it and open it here, this will actually open up that project, and I can come in and change this or um, you know modify it in any particular way it's just loading the project so here's our project this looks a lot like an editor right so this is where we see we've got all the pluses and stuff where I can add items in here just like I could on the iPad so if I'm gonna come in here and I say you know what I'm just gonna I actually want to delete that picture so I'm just gonna tap on this thing and I'm gonna hit delete Actually, that's going to delete the, if I want to delete the whole grid. But I actually want to come down into an individual. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say I want to edit the grid. Okay, so now all the different grid photos are selected. And if I wanted to get rid of a particular picture like the bathroom, I just come over here, click delete, takes it out. Now I have a much smaller grid. I can add new photos if I wanted to on there. Browser files on my computer, so I don't necessarily just have to have them on my iPad. Once I'm good with that, click Save. And then I can just reshare it again.
Hope you find that helpful. Just a really quick overview of what Adobe Slate will do and how you can use it in your real estate business.